Hello, probably friends and family since you're most likely the only ones watching this. It is Emma. We just bought a house this year and because I we work in film and there's a film strike going on, we are not working. <laughs> so uh, we decided to kind of do some projects around the house and I thought that it might be fun to show you guys some of them. Today's project is gonna be wallpaper, which is why this wall looks a little funny right now. Let's get to it. So here is the before. First things first, you want a smooth surface when applying wallpaper, so I sanded a lot. Thanks to poor prior renovations and our pesky rabbits at home, this wall needed some TLC before I could put paper on it. After sanding all the weird bits away, I pre-cut the paper to the needed lengths. Then I mapped on the wall where seams would line up, and I decided to lay stripes of a darker color in where seams might show up. I had this color on hand already, and it's just much closer to the details in the wallpaper that you'll see shortly. There is wallpaper-specific primer that does exist, but I don't have any of it, and this is just a small accent wall, so we'll be fine without it. So while the paint dried, I gathered tools, most importantly, a sharp knife, level, ladder, and squeegee and then I was well on my way to begin. guys here is mostly finished um there's a bit around corners where i struggled for sure uh <laughs> that i would like to i'm gonna color match a paint and just touch up in there and no one will ever know ceiling was really wonky and the walls are really wonky um as is most Ooh, let me shut this window but it's a bit loud oh, okay as are most things with this house, bit wonky. There we go. Up there, it got really funny. I'm gonna fix that. Um, there were a couple bits on this side, and then this is where I started, and I it was a learning curve. Definitely forgot how to do wallpaper for a minute, but um, that's all right. We will fix all the things, put baseboard back. I'll probably show it to you once I move the bed back. Um, that's kind of the last deal. All right, that's what the wallpapered wall looks like. Um, I have a, oh, and a bunny. <laughs> it came out really nice. There are parts where I couldn't even find the seams, so the painting behind it worked really well. I lucked out that there's, there's kind of a pattern to match. Um, there's definitely a top and bottom, or like left and right, I guess, because um, the sheet, one end of it, let's see if I can even find it here, one end has like a thick line and the other end had a thin one. So it made, I could figure out top and bottom for that. I did some touch-ups that you can see just mixed a color. Um, so I fixed the top line cause it was a little uneven and around the windows. Super happy with that. I got carried away yesterday and started cleaning these windows. I don't know if they've ever been cleaned. Um, so I started to do that. Uh, this one has a screen, the rest don't, but I didn't clean the one over there because of spider bro. Um, he is still living his best life up there with three. Oh my gosh. Oh, he's moving it out. He kind of hides a lot. So that's wild. I, we don't have a screen in this window, so I couldn't even open it to clean it. And I'm Oh, <laughs> it's not gonna be open for a while. <laughs> I digress. So yeah, here you can see, I had to do a cut across and um, touch up a lot. That This was my first piece where I was still trying to figure out how wallpaper worked because I had forgotten, apparently. Um, but when you back away, you can't tell. And so much of it was behind the bed that I didn't have to worry too much about making it perfect there. I kept it level pretty much throughout. And I checked it every time just because I knew it'd be a pain when I got over here. Um, it wound up saying it was level, but I did have to overlap at the top 
uh, you can't really tell, which is good. I'm happy with it. And it's done. And next is decor, final touches, which will be later. So I realized I didn't really properly end this uh, wallpaper journey. There was no conclusion <laughs> to this video, but here we are a few days later. Uh, still feels great, looks great. Um, made for a good accent wall, so thank you to uh, my first production for providing me with some free wallpaper. I have a lot of other projects around the house that I want to do. By the time I finished making this wall and this video, um, it's looking up for us striking folks, which is super exciting, but I'm still gonna work on our house. I have more projects to work on and I'm gonna keep documenting them and I'll probably keep sharing them because I have had a few family and friends already ask how the house is going, if we're, you know, making it feel like we want it to, look like we want it to, and obviously we are, it's just very slow going. <laughs> so um, this is just kind of a fun way that I can keep track myself and share with some people who mean a lot to me. I've already filmed some more stuff that I just need to put together into like a quick little blurby video of things that I've done that I really am proud of and like and make our house just more cozy. So. Thank you if you've stuck around this long. <laughs> Thank you for watching and see you next time. Bye.